Hello YouTubers, this is Wolf359 just coming to you with a update on Nextcloud. I had a, a viewer reach out to me because he was having some problems. I try to work with him and all that. He got one problem resolved with uh, Nginx and all. But I've noticed that there's been a couple, uh, a little issue because I've been just in touch with him trying to figure this one out. And... <clears throat> What it is, is when uh, signing into Nextcloud while using Nginx Proxy Manager, we're having a little issue. So what I'll do is I'm going to go, I'm going to bring Nginx Proxy Manager over. We're going to log into, we're going to get into the Nextcloud, but we're going to log out. The issue we're having is, is right here at the loading screen is that it's loading in so right here is loaded up it's loaded up already in with no problem so we're logged in but we're sitting here at the main logging into the next cloud screen and all and that's the problem I'm thinking that everybody's having with that so what we're going to do, uh, I do know that a couple of people did ask me on uh, how to use, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember that, WebIO or something. I'm, I'm, I've am i tried to use in WebIO, I think that's what it's called, but I just haven't, yeah, I'm just trying to figure that one out, uh, what they're, tr but yeah, well, Web UI, yeah, the web UI, my bad. I have used web UI and never really got into it. So, uh, all mine right now, if anybody using web UI and all that, I really use file browser for everything on anything like this trying to do. So, file browser is really easy to set up and all that. I can try to get into a web UI and see show how to use it i've used it before but file browser i've just found out is a lot easier for me to use than show showing so we're going to log in i've already been in file browser because i went through testing so everything that i've done for this i've tested and it works so we're going to get out of that we're going to go into our file browser uh, <clears throat> And what we're doing on file browser, I'm pointing at my main my main data set, my test data set, my test data set. So I have all my data sets at Nextcloud and all that. I do have one right here that's not showing up in my data set. I don't know why it's still showing there, but this server is going to be shut down and redone completely. I'm trying to move everything over. We're gonna I'm gonna redo it. And get it all back up and going right but yes so that's what we're seeing we're seeing my main data set so we're gonna come into the next cloud data set we're gonna come into apps I'm gonna go to configs so in my last video we showed uh, the one doing <coughs> installing setting up next cloud how to do the trusted domain through file browser so forth so i changed up the name because i got rid of the last name that we had set up so it's mb server 12 that i'm doing so what we're coming here to do is we're looking at this right here that we're showing we're going http colon forward slash forward slash local host so what it's doing is looking for the local host and that's the problem we're coming here so what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate this right here and we're going to put in example example e -X -A -P -L -E, example dot com okay <clears throat> And what we're going to do next after that, we're going to come, we're going to go to the end of that line. We're going to go enter 
and we're gonna add in one more. We're gonna go overwrite. <coughs> Sorry about that. Protocol, protocol, or however. Uh, P R O T O C O L. We're just gonna do it the same way. Uh, add it in too many things. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah, here we go. Add it. P R. Uh, yeah. Add it in <laughs> extra T. So. And we're gonna add in colons https and a comma and we're going to come up we're going to save this and we can exit out of that we're going to come back into our true dance we're going to go down to apps i'm going to find next cloud i'm going to stop next cloud okay next cloud stop i'm going to start next cloud back up <clears throat> we got Nextcloud loading up right now. So once it loads up, I'll finish loading up. Good. Okay. So what we're going to see here is if we come over to the web UI, we're not going to be able to get into it. It would be like uh, the same way if we were doing it on uh, just going through Ubuntu and setting it up that way and doing everything. We wouldn't be able to use the IP address no more because we're not doing local host no more. We're doing our, in our proxy for Nginx where we're using a domain name. So once we click on the domain name that we're going to sign out, it's going to do that. I'm going to do our name, password. Bam. Right in. No problem there. The app. The app, uh, logging in on the app on your phone had the problem of not wanting to connect with it and lo load. So what we had to do was do the same thing and it allowed us to connect to it with no problem. So that is how to fix that issue of the loading and all and all, everything else. So if that is the problem of just needing to be loaded and all that, that's the two things that we needed to change. We needed to come into the config.php and add in a subtract local and add in an example over in the over, overwrite C C L I URL URL we need to do example.com so example meaning MB server 12 dot D D D N S dot net pointing at that and we're trying to overwrite the protocols calling it HTTPS so we're using HTTPS because we're using SSL certificate. SSL uses port 443 for anything. HTTP uses port 80. So we're trying to secure it where we don't have this unsecure check mark right here. Like you see up here, this is unsecure. We're on a local machine, so I'm not worried about that. But we're wanting to see this. Or we're having MB server 12 DDNS and it's in here. So forth. So we'll log back out one more time to show that we're able to log in. And we're logged in. So if there's any other questions, any other problems, just let me just hit me up and I'll get to y'all and let you know. And the one thing is, okay, I noticed that the one pro one problem that some people are having with Nginx proxy is the port forwarding of 443 and at port 80 on uh, TrueNAS scale and all. 
is that you have to because when you port for it for this IP address or whatever your IP address is for uh, Nginx Proxy Manager is that you're showing it's open and all that, you have, but your proxy manager is showing error every time you're doing it. So what you want to do is you want to come over to General Settings and you want to come over to the GUI and go into the Settings and you want to come down to the Web Interface HTTP port and the web interface HTTPS ports and change those two. And once you change those, it'll switch everything up and you see how mine is, is 192.168.2.26.88. And that's what we're doing right here. So we're shoot, showing this on these ports. So that'll take care of Nginx so you don't have those problems. <laughs> Okay, uh, if there's anything else I can help you with or anything on Nextcloud or Nginx Proxy Manager, just hit me up on YouTube or anything. I'm trying to set up a Discord right now, later on today. So if you anybody needs to hit me up instead of being on YouTube, you can. I'll shoot out a link for everybody on my Discord once I have it set up. Uh, but... Please like, share, and subscribe, and thank you all very much.